welcome to another edition of Michigan Jaguars Weekly. Well, the last two weekends have been filled with awesome soccer. Two weeks ago, it was the Michigan Jaguars Fall Tournament, which was a huge success. Great games, great weather, and great fun were had. Well done to everyone competing and to the club for putting on another stellar tournament. Then, this past weekend, several Jags teams competed in the Reds Tournament out in Pontiac. It was so awesome to see them take home silverware at another tournament. It was so cool to see so many teams and players competing in both tournaments, to be honest. Enjoying the games and preparing for their upcoming seasons. Let's check out some goals that were shared with us from the past two weekends. Ooh, the spin and the quick shot keep the defenders and the goalie on their toes. And the deflection takes the ball into the net. A really nice play. Watch as Nate Kelly picks up the ball at the top of the box and lets it fly. Boom, what a strike. Keep shooting, Nate. And in the same game, here's Liam Allen winning the ball in the midfield and pulling the trigger from way downtown. The ball sails straight into the upper 90. Perfection. Here, Sophie Bowman pulls her best messy impression and puts the free kick into the top corner. She scored three goals in this game. What a player. It's not often you get to see a goal scored from the drone view, but here's one. And what happens when you win a trophy? You celebrate like these boys. Great job, guys. Those were awesome goals. And if this isn't just the cutest picture I've ever seen, I don't know what is. This is the 2017 Pre-AGA 1 team who won the championship trophy at the Jaguars Fall Tournament. Some big congratulations go out to five Jaguars who were selected to participate in the U.S. Soccer Regional Talent ID Camp. Congratulations to Mackenzie, Eliana, Samantha, Giada, and Molly. And ahead of her final season with the club, Texas commit Amalia Villarreal was just ranked the number three player in the class of 2024 by Prep Soccer. Congrats, Amalia. We look forward to watching all the games this upcoming season. Also, let's learn a little bit more about the Girls Academy as their season is getting underway. Watch as Girls Recruiting Director Derek Smith and GA Director Mike Scobie talk about the 2023-24 season and learn more about the league. Preseason's already starting right now with this team game that we're going through. We're super excited and buzzing just to see the players excited to be a part of it all. But we just got a lot of things coming up. The month of August is preseason. It's a big grind. We're all getting to know our new players and our current players are getting acclimated. But also we're just looking forward to this upcoming Friday when the kids get to go to their overnight trip and bond to the team and grow with Trisha Willock leading that. Um, we're excited about doing our media day with the players, trying to give them that college environment feel where they're getting their social media pictures ready to go for the college showcases, social media for our Jaguars Academy, just having that blast and bring that team chemistry and that camaraderie through those two events. And then of course, in September is excited to get going and get into league play straight away. We're looking forward to a lot of things this upcoming season. Um, I think all six of our Girls Academy teams have gotten quite a bit stronger in the off season. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we are bringing on Chris Crawford, coach our U13 and U14 Girls Academy teams. And um, still have Trisha Wellick working with our 09s, Derek Smith um, with our 07s and 08s. And uh, so super excited about the staff that we have and the direction we're going. The Girls Academy is one of the best platforms in the country. Um, the biggest thing I love about the Girls Academy, it is a girls only platform, which just shows that camaraderie and that chemistry that we're trying to build in that women and female empowerment. At the end of the day, the clubs in the Girls Academy and even clubs in general, our ultimate goal is not to just build a better soccer player, but it's also build a better human. And the Girls Academy definitely puts an emphasis on building the best human and the best woman they possibly can become in their future. And for me, that just speaks volumes about the league. I think the, the biggest benefit uh, to the Girls Academy is just the environment that they get, you know, every day. Um, you know, the Academy attracts some of the top players in Michigan throughout the Midwest. They've got a 
player from Ohio joining the academy this year uh, with us. So um, just the everyday environment, training with the best players, competing against the best players day in and day out is, I think, number one. Um, number two is we're really lucky to play in the, the Mid-America division. I'm biased, obviously, but one of the most competitive conferences out of any league in the country. Um, so again, that environment going into every game day is just you know playing against some of the best girls in the region. So each club has their own GA rep, and then also we have club directors in our club that are also a GA rep for the region as well, too. So the fact that we give the league back to the players to help make decisions, to help build it the best way it possibly can be, it teaches them how to become CEOs and CFOs and become business owners, because they're already starting to get the ownership of understanding that this is their league and they can make it better themselves as well, too. We have an extremely incredible group of young women in this, in this group, you know? It's always awesome to see the, the young 2011s take their first steps in their girls' academy. But with the staff that we have, they're ready to bring it, and we're just so excited to see what the future holds. We have a lot of special players in our club, and we just love to promote them and show them how much we care about them by investing them every single session, every single match. New staff, new people, and for me, I just think it's going to be a lot of excitement around it. Thanks, guys, and good luck to all the girls competing this season. So, did you see that Spain won the Women's World Cup in Australia? Did you also see that Messi and his Inter Miami team won the League's Cup? Have you been following along with Messi and his Inter Miami team? You need to. It's fun to watch as the best player ever in the sport is tearing it up right here in the USA. So fun to watch. Thanks again for watching Michigan Jaguars Weekly. Be sure to send us your goals, saves, and great clips for us to feature in upcoming videos. Take care, guys.